have the privilege today of being uh, uh, before you and with you to speak about our Palatine mission in uh, Zambia. It is a, uh, a undertaking that is part of the Indian province as uh, Joy uh, comes from and also our uh, province here in Milwaukee. And uh, it began in 2005. And of course, in these early years, there is, uh, you know, uh, the, the priests there have to get accustomed uh, to uh, the people there and all the different things that go on. And they have to know, you know, when they can kind of uh, come in and uh, say what they would like to say as they are a part of the parish, which was uh, earlier called, their first one was called Holy Family Parish. And uh, so it was around five years later uh, that they began to uh, think about how we were going to work uh, for a school. And so they uh, decided uh, that they would uh, buy this property, as it was said, uh, west uh, of, of uh, Zambia, uh, the city of uh, Lusaka. And they needed a lot of land, of course, and uh, there was a nice farm there with a lot of uh, places there that they could at least start out with. And so it is now in uh, the year that they had the way of looking at uh, the people that were there. And so they decided we're going to start the school. They only had a few the first year. And in the second year, they had over 100. So from that time on, they uh, built uh, two classrooms each year. And uh, so by now, there are around 550 young people there, uh, boys and girls. And uh, they also have some uh, preschool things there. And so in the, this situation, uh, many good things have happened. And uh, the, the, the things I, well, I looked this morning and I could uh, see one of those merry-go-rounds, you know, in, in the playground outside the school. So it just gives you a little idea of the things that are going on there and how the people uh, feel confident to bring their children there. In our day, that's so very important. And of course, uh, all the children in this particular situation, they are picked up by buses uh, because it's too far uh, for the families, uh, most of them, to walk that far and then bring them home in such a time that it will not be dark. And so the buses are very important now. And in the future, as they look into uh, the future now, they want to continue uh, beyond grade 10 uh, to grade 12. And that is an important uh, line of education. And at that time, they will, they've already said that if things go well, then they might consider some kind of a college. And around this situation there, we also have uh, seminarians uh, that are there. There are uh, two of them who are uh, starting again, and there is uh, one who is in theology. Uh, <clears throat> there is uh, the other element in the mission there, and uh, that uh, is related uh, to health. Uh, so there is a place, a clinic, 
uh, where everybody can come and the nurse is there. There are uh, two Palatine sisters there and they are working so that the people who come, they at least have an idea of some things that are bothering them and that they can know what could be uh, a situation. They can give them some medicines. And if it's uh, something that they have to go to uh, Lusaka, then they know that, and that's very important. As another example, it is uh, last, uh, the beginning of this year, uh, they start the new year in January. Uh, and uh, so for six weeks, they couldn't have it because the cholera uh, problem was going around in the area. And this place was so very important so that people could come and understand their situation. And so also that the school had uh, a reasonable, <clears throat> uh, not doubt, uh, but clarity about when they would start. So these are the various situations there, and uh, we ask uh, your kindness uh, to help support them, uh, and uh, we ask also for your prayers, uh, because many times we don't have enough money for all the things that happen in life. But we always can pray for missionaries around the world who give their lives in other countries and uh, are acquainted enough with life to trust the Lord in their journey. And that goes for someone uh, like Father Joy too. So, Thank you, I thank you already for your help in this situation, your prayers and your offerings. And in the, uh, you might have received uh, this morning this envelope and you can uh, place your offering in there and uh, there's a, uh, just give it to someone uh, in the area uh, back. Or as it says in the, a bulletin, you'd also use your uh, parish way of uh, giving uh, the help. So thank you and God bless all of you.